Good afternoon. Okay, so a good mechanic knows the shape of every single component inside this machine, and how every single component utilizes its shape to interconnect with other components to form a functional unit. The cell is a living functional unit made up of tens of thousands of macromolecules whose structure is essential for its function. And at times whereby there is errors in the structure, perhaps due to misfolding, dire consequences can happen to the cell. And these macromolecules occur in the form of proteins, DNA, and RNA. In the past decade or so, in order to understand how the cell functions, much work has been spent in understanding the structure of proteins and DNA. RNA remains as a large important class of underexplored macromolecules. To bridge the gap of a need to understand how RNAs fold to perform its function, and yet the difficulty in traditional RNA footprinting, I developed a new strategy to enable massive parallel structure probing of an RNA molecule. Instead of probing now a single fragment of an RNA at a time, we can now probe long RNA structures of thousands of RNAs at a time. And this massively parallel um, sequencing enables us to obtain RNA structures of thousands of RNAs under different conditions, as well as in different organisms. We first performed it in the model organism yeast, as well as in our favorite organism, humans, and others have followed our footsteps to study RNA structure and that impact in mouse, worm, a fly, and worm. So you might ask, now that you have all these RNA structures, we'll first peek into landscapes of how these RNAs fold. What's next? So RNA, understanding the structure of RNA, provides us with a molecular understanding of the molecular basis of disease. So many diseases, including cancer, are associated with numerous mutations in the cell. However, how these mutations affect the cellular function is still largely unknown. In our previous study, we found that about 15% of these mutations affect RNA structure. So you can imagine if we can identify which RNA molecules are structurally affected by which mutations, then we will have a handle to be able to target these um, error structures. And now we can provide RNA structure probing in other pathogens such as viruses and um, bacteria and understanding the structure of these macromolecules is critical for us to rationally design drugs to target them in the new class of antiviral and microbial therapies. I'm Yue Wan from the Genome Institute of Singapore. Thank you. Mm -hmm.